G'day everyone, we're here today in the Artisti Espresso Bar. It's the end of the day and it's time to clean our grinder. This is the Anthem SP2. I want to show you how to do it and I reckon every barista needs to know how to do this so that they can ensure their grinder is working perfect for them during the day. Welcome back guys, I'm Luke from Artisti Coffee and today just going to run through how we look after our grinders. This is something that we want to do very regularly. There's a lot of grinders out there that um, don't get as much love and it really will affect the quality of the coffee that you're putting through into your cup. So the better you can look after them, the cleaner and crisper that flavour is going to be. You're going to have less residual of old coffee that is going to taint your cups and you're going to increase the life of your burrs, your motor, and just make sure that grinder is going to last you for a much longer time. So there's a couple of things you're going to need to be able to look after a grinder. And Anthem do give you some great tools, um, but when you're doing this, it is a very systematic approach. You don't want to lose any of your screws or nuts um, when you're doing this process. So I recommend getting yourself a little takeaway cup just to put all the bits into it. Um, Anthem give you an Allen key, which we can use to remove the front plate here. You get a little brush as well. Um, look, that's really handy and great, but most people will end up with about a one and a half inch straight paintbrush um, from a hardware store. Um, and you're gonna need a vacuum cleaner. So that's gonna really help you um, get a much better clean and job done on this grinder. The Anthem SP2 is a grinder that we now have put across all of our accounts. It's a big 75 mil flat burr grinder with titanium blades. And for our customers and the volumes that we're doing, those blades are gonna last for two and a half ton of coffee, which is great value. And when you get into some big flat burr grinders that are out in the market, they do have blockages when you get really fine grind coming through them. We've found that the way you can clean this grinder is really easy and anyone can do it. Um, especially if you're under the pump, you can quickly fix a blockage and get straight back into making coffee really quickly. So for us, that's a huge benefit and our customers love that. Um, these grinders have been amazing for the flavor of coffee. They definitely highlight a lot of the uh, subtleties that are coming through with coffee. They definitely bring a lot of brightness to coffee. So we're really happy with it. Um, you'll see here a couple little things that, that we do. We've removed our normal um, group handle rest which would be attached here and allowed you to actually hold the grinder in place. Um, when these first came out, our concern was is how do we weigh each shot? Um, and you would have seen that in a few of our videos using the little dosing pots um, and a individual scale. So Anthem did bring out this. Um, it's a great um, place to be able to put your scale. It's definitely a great place to catch a lot of the coffee grind. Um, there is this other tray underneath which tends to not have much in it because it is caught up the top. So in this model that's something that um, is a bit different. The other thing we've done is because we have the dosing pot, um, this grinder actually when you activate the main button here, it will give us a full dose of the time that we've already pre-programmed in. Now that's not something that comes standard. Because when you have the other rest, it expects you to leave that handle in and depressing that button the whole time while it's grinding. If you remove that handle, it will stop. So there is a bit of a cheat that you've got to get in the menu and do, but I just wanted to point that out with this grinder, we've already made that change. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to close our hopper slide and we're gonna grind off just enough coffee to allow anything that's inside here to purge through. This makes it a lot easier when we get in to clean the blades. And it also helps you to know that it's only two dosing pots and that's usually set for us at 22 grams. So it's about 44, 45 grams of coffee that is held 
in that whole section, which is really quite small uh, in comparison to a lot of grinders out there. So now we know that that shoots clean, we can start to look inside this grinder and remove the hopper and start cleaning from the top down. So now we've cleaned the grind that's in between the blades and on the other side through the front chute. I wanna open that gap up just a little bit. So I'm gonna increase the coarseness on that grind and that's gonna allow those blades to open up. I'm gonna be able to get in there and clean a bit better. So I've come from about 4.5 all the way up to seven and that allows a lot more space to come through. One more little quick go. Just allows any other big chunks that haven't quite fallen in yet to make their way through. And we'll be able to brush in that gap a lot easier. So now we're ready to remove the hopper. So this is where your little cup comes in handy. There's a few of these little nuts that come off. So three in total there. And then you'll be able to lift your hopper straight off. So let's come and have a look inside. So you can see that we've removed the hopper from the grinder. The one thing to note is there is no safety switch on the Anthem SP2. Normally, let's say where these buttons are, there would be a pin that would locate the hopper into here to make sure that this grinder doesn't work without the hopper on because you can put your fingers in and munch your fingers. So I definitely recommend turning it off at the main power down here. And if you really wanna be safe, pull the plug out as well and that's gonna help you. So what we wanna do is start to brush everything into the hole, just getting all that grind in. You wanna clean underneath here. This is where the thread is that gets adjusted by this grinding knob. So you wanna make sure that there's nothing sticking in there. You can get a bit of a bean or a bit of grind in there. Then we can give it a bit of a brush out. Okay. And then grab the vacuum and give that a really good suck out. And because the blades are already opened up, you're gonna be able to get some of those bigger pieces out as well. So now it's nice and clean at the top and there's no build up in there. If you haven't done this you know, regularly and if you're not doing this once a week, you really should be. So you can get a lot of build up in this um, top sort of shoot. So keeping it clean helps with static as well and just keeps that really nice clean bean going all the way through um, with no old beans hanging around. So that's all clean now. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we clean from the barista's side. So. With these grinders, you do need to know how to remove this dosing chute. It's really easy and any barista has to be able to know how to do this. Um, I would do this part every single day just to make sure that we are getting a nice clean, even uh, grind all the way through the chute um, and there's no build up in there. It's quite simple. We're gonna start with our Allen key and remove the two Allen key bolts. and we've now got our chute. So I just give that a quick little brush out, make sure it's all nice and clean. It's a bit hard to get up there, so getting inside it. Okay, we'll put that aside. Now you can see here, this is, I guess, a clump crusher. And what it's doing is making sure that the grind can come through smoothly and cleanly. So you definitely don't want any build up in here. And this is the easiest um, design. So just give it a bit of a, bit of a brush um, and you can start to expose the actual spring, which you can simply grab with your fingers and just pull that out. And it will bring a little bit of mess with it. So there's your spring. It comes out that way and goes back in that way as well. So give that a good clean up so you don't lose it pop it in your cup. And now we wanna clean out this chute. So I'd be grabbing the vacuum from this point and just giving it a really good vacuum from top to bottom.
So now we've given it a good vacuum, it's time to put it back together. We're just going to do everything in reverse, get our little spring, pop that in, and you can see that the little springs are going in, allowing the screws to go on the outside. We've got our chute cover. Oh, don't drop it. Just line those up and just take your time. Don't want to thread anything. Just get one in first and then pop your second one in. So if they're not going in easy, you've either got some coffee grind in there or hopefully you haven't threaded it. Just do them up nicely and then go back and tweak the other side again. And that just keeps it in nice and flat as well. Now with your hopper, you could do this probably once a week, actually washing the hopper itself. Um, I haven't done that today, but you would only use that with warm soapy water, make sure it's totally dry. Um, you would be then maybe popping it on top of your machine just to get all that moisture out because you can get a bit of moisture still built up in this section here. Don't go putting it straight back on when it's wet. You're only going to wreck your grinder. So you could do that once a week and do this side every day. So pop it back on. Make sure you just line up your three holes there. Get your three little nuts and secure them back on. And then I just give the whole grinder um, a light spray with a bit of window cleaner and a bit of paper towel and that'll polish it up nicely. On the other side, I'd keep an eye on the two filters. There's an inlet and an outlet filter. The inlet is the bottom one and that's going to get quite dirty. So just keep an eye on it, um, give it a bit of a dust out. Uh, if you do that once a week, you're definitely going to keep on top of it. Um, you probably need to replace those every six months. Uh, and definitely for changing blades, you'd be looking to change those filters as well. So going back to set the grind from here, we know um, that I was at about 4.5 and I've come up to seven to be able to keep those blades open so that we can clean in there. So I'm gonna comfortably go finer and come right back to my 4.1, 2, 3, to 4.4. So I don't want to go straight back to the grind setting I was on because if in the morning um, the temperature is different or we've got a different bag of beans and they're going to clump together a little bit, you could block this grinder straight away. So whenever you've cleaned all those shoots and past the blades, you always want to start a little bit coarser, get the beans and grind flowing and then adjust down to the recipe that you've got for your grinder. So that's just a little tip there. Um, anyone that tries to go straight back to that grind can block it up really easy. So now it's just a matter of turning it on, letting the brain kick in and go through its process so it's ready to go. You'll see the lights activate, which means they're ready. Um, I like to just put the pot underneath and just do one more little press there to get the grind that we were trying to clean out through. And you can see there was yeah, quite a few grams that were still stuck in there, even though I vacuumed from the top and the bottom, there was still some in there as well. So we've really made sure we've got rid of that. Now it's a matter of setting the grind. So run a shot um, after you've opened the hopper. And you'll see now it's not really coming through. There we go, so we didn't get a full dose all the way through because it's had to fill up the space past the blades, fill up that spring and into the chute. So it really does need one more. To get that even flow, now you're ready to set your grind. So thanks guys, I hope you learned how to clean your Anthem SP2. Uh, if you've got any other questions, make sure you shoot us a comment. And if you love the video, hey, please like it and share it with others that are having a bit of a challenge. You know, give them a hand. Um, thanks very much. Catch you next time.